for me, education was the hope. Um, it was just getting across that line of not allowing a fear, fear of failure to immobilize me that got me, I got five C's at GCSE, that's all I got, and a D, wasn't allowed to go to two classes, got me into my A-levels where I decided to do my best, whatever, got me to university, and that was the gateway to me escaping, escaping the circumstances of my birth. I, I saw the, the felling of the statue as historically poetic, uh, you know, a, a slaver involved in the kidnap of 80,000 people, 20, um, 18 to 20,000 of whom would have died and thrown overboard of the ships for the sharks en route, um, being rolled through the streets was a, a phenomenally symbolic act um, uh, for the, the city and, and the country. So um, I don't take away from that. But as I shared, my concern was unless you attach that to real policy, um, you end up just feeding on symbolic acts. And that leads to cynicism in the end because fundamentally things don't change. So it has to be attached to real policy. We have to know what we're talking about and what we're talking about are inequalities in educational outcomes, inequalities in housing, uh, wealth, levels of unemployment, uh, sickness, experience of the criminal justice system. I think the education system is one of the, is amongst the single most significant places where we can create hope uh, and opportunity uh, for people. And I'm a, I'm a living testament to that.